Good morning, church. So um, my name is Kazi. For those of you who may not know me, I am from Zambia, and I am currently serving with Willowfield Church. I work for an organization called Pace Movement, and I have been placed to work here, and I help with the kids and youth team. Um, so today we are going to be talking about the parable of the talents. So in the Bible, we have so many parables that Jesus told his followers. And so if you have been here for the past few months, we have been talking about different parables. So some of the parables that we have spoken about um, were the parable of the lost sheep. We've, we've also spoken about the parable of um, the prodigal son as well. And we've just been talking about many other parables. But today we are going to be talking about the parable of the talents. So, in this parable, it is found in Matthew 25, verses 14 to 30. And so, this parable, we have four main characters. We have the master, we have the two servants that were faithful, and the one and faithful servant. So, the talents that I'm talking about. So, back in the day, talents were used to represent money. So, it, wasn't, it was a way of the... Um, people back then having a way to buy their stuff and get their stuff, they were given talents. So in this parable, this master gives his servants talents. So he gives one servant five, the other servant two, and the last servant he gives him one talent. And so the master tells them, I'm going on a trip, I'm going, I will be back. But he doesn't tell them what to do, but he just says, I will be back and I'm going. And so... We have the last servant that was given one talent. And he decides, you know what? I'm going to hide my talent and I'm going to keep it in a safe space so that when my master comes back, I'm ready and I can go get it because it's not my talent, but it's my master's talent. And so he hides it and he's happy and he's like, yes, I'm, I'm just going to hide it and then I'll, I'll keep it safe. And then we have the two faithful servants. They decided that, you know what? I'm going to take my master's talents and I'm going to go work really hard and get more talents for him. I'm going to work as hard as I can. I'm going to do everything that I can to get more talents for my master. And so what does this parable mean? What does it teach us? So each and every one of us has been given a talent, has been given a gift from God. Each, of every, each and every one of us has a skill, has different abilities, and has different strengths. We are all unique. So I have a way to remember the parable and how we can remember what it teaches us. So the first, um, it's called the three G's. So we have three G's, and these will teach us about this parable, and it will help us remember this parable, okay? So the first G is gifts. So the gifts that we are given, these strengths, these skills that God gives us, all of us, and I am so excited to know that I have been given some skills and I've been given gifts from God that are unique and different. And so each and every one of us has gifts that we have been given. But what do we do with these gifts? Do we just keep them to ourselves? Do we keep them for ourselves? No. So the third gift, um, the third G is, the second G is goals. So God has given each and every one of us a certain gift, but these gifts are all part of his plan. So each and every one of us, God has a plan for us. And so these gifts and these talents and these abilities and these skills and these strengths that he's given us are all part of his plan. And he wants us to use them to accomplish his goals for us. So in the parable, the servants were given talents, right? But each of these servants had one thing in, in common. They all knew that these talents did not belong to them. They knew that the talents belonged to the master. But what they did with those talents is what made them different. So the third G that I have for us is grow. And I'm not going to sing as well as Abby did. But uh, when I was in primary, we had a little song that um, we were taught. And it was, please do not laugh at me, but um, it was... Um, it was a way for us to, like, remember how to pray and read our Bibles. So it was like, read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, and you grow, grow, grow. I loved this song. It was, like, my favorite song in primary, and I would enjoy it. I would be dancing at the back, and I would be singing and screaming. 
But the reason I loved this song was because it reminded me to pray and it reminded me that I should read my Bible and praying and reading my Bible is the way that I would grow. I would grow my relationship with God. And so that's why I love this song. And so each and every one of us in this audience right now is called to grow in God, is called to grow our relationship with God. God wants us to grow, and he wants us to show that we are trustworthy. So with the gifts and the things that he has given us, he wants us to show that we are going to use it well and that we are going to work as hard as we can and that we are going to make sure that we produce more. So I'll give an example of what these gifts and talents could be. So maybe God has given you the talents like in the parable of money. Maybe you have so much money, you have a lot of money, or maybe God has given you the gift of being an older sister, or even a younger brother, or God has given you the gift of maybe being a teacher or a parent. And all of these gifts that God has given us, that he has put in, he has blessed us with, are all part of his plan. But he wants us to prove to him that we are trustworthy and that what he has given us, we are going to use and we are going to make sure we work as hard as we can. Because when we prove ourselves trustworthy, he is able to give us more. In the parable, um, the one who had five talents worked as hard as he could and he produced ten. And the second one who had two talents, he worked as hard as he could and he produced two more. The one with the one talent, when he hid it, he was told to give his one talent to the person that had five that produced ten. Because the master said, for those that have will be given and will be given in abundance. God will give us even more than we can imagine. I'm excited to see what God gives me. He's going to give each and every one of us more as we prove that, that we are trustworthy, that we prove to him that I'm going to be the best older sister that I can be. I'm going to be the best parent I can be. I'm going to be the best singer that I can be. I'm going to be the best. I'm going to use my money wisely. I'm not going to just spend it carelessly. I'm going to use it and I'm going to help others. He wants us to prove that we are trustworthy. I'm going to give you guys a story. So, um, when I was a kid growing up, I always wanted to prove to my parents that they could trust me. So I followed the rules. I was like the one child in, our, in my family that was like, I was like the good child. And I did everything that my parents wanted me to do. And I was like, I'm going to make sure that I, I listen. When my parents say no, I, I say, okay, mom, dad, that's fine. And I did everything my parents wanted me to do. And then over the years, all that hard work that I did paid off. When I was coming over to Belfast, my dad was like, you know what, Kazi, we're excited to send you because we trust you. We know that you're going to go there and we know that what we have taught you, you're not going to, you know, forget. And we trust you so much that we are able to send you to Belfast alone. And that was because of all the hard work that I had done. I had proved to my parents that they could trust me. I had showed my parents that they could trust me. And so they were able to even send me alone. And so in the same way, God wants all of us to prove to him that we can be trusted with what he has given us. All of these things that he has given us, he wants us to show that we are go not going to misuse them or use them for evil, but we are going to use them to glorify him. And that's exactly what he wants for each and every one of us. So I love a good challenge. And um, I want to challenge you guys today. So I want to ask you, which servant are you going to be? We are all given the choice of free will. God will not force us to do anything. He gives us these talents. He gives us these gifts, these blessings. And he wants us to choose what are we going to do with them. So are we going to be the two faithful servants that went, worked hard, was the best sister, brother, do everything we could? Or are we going to be like the unfaithful servant that went and hid his talent and he, he kept it there? So which servant are you going to be? At the end of the parable, Jesus ends it by saying that um, the master returned, the master came back. But in the parable, Jesus never said how long the master said he was going to go for or when the master, the master didn't say, I'm going to be back at this time, this hour, this day. He just said, I will be back. So with that, even Jesus is going to come back. One day Jesus is going to come back, and I can't wait for that day. He's going to come back, and he's going to see us, and he's going to say, you know, uh, is he going to say to us, well done, my good and faithful servant? Or is he going to say, oh, why, 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 why? 
Is he going to say, you lazy servant? Or is he going to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Come and join me in happiness. Is he going to say that? So we have a choice because we don't know when God is going to come back, when he's going to return. But we have to know that with what we have been given, we need to work as hard as we can. We need to make sure that we produce more, that we are the best we can be. And that's the challenge I have for you today. So shall we pray? Our dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this wonderful day that, Lord, you have blessed us with. Lord, we just thank you for all the unique gifts and talents that we have been blessed with, Lord. We just thank you and we just pray that we may just be able to just use it to glorify you, Lord. We pray that you would just um, be with us as we go away, Lord. We just pray that you would just um, protect us and keep us safe, Lord. We thank you for all that you do in our lives, Lord, with or without us knowing. In Jesus' name, I ask all this. Amen.